everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created some highlights at home so this was kind of an experiment i am a hairdresser but i haven't worked uh, in a salon for over seven years and i never did highlights by myself so yes it was definitely an experiment and um i used box dye which is like a hairdresser's worst, worst nightmare because a box dye is always a surprise how this will turn out but i'm very happy with it and i will show you like the end result up close after i show you how i did it so please keep on watching but um yes i'm really excited to share this with you because it is super affordable like this cost me like 50 liras which is two dollars two euros so it is very affordable and um, I will also share with you guys my thoughts at the end of this video and what I will do differently the next time. But um, yes, if you're excited for a new video, then please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that. And if you like to see motherhood related videos, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, then make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started. Okay, so when I filmed this, it was a little bit hectic because my mother-in-law was holding my baby boy and I was trying to get the foils in as quick as possible. So I will do a little voiceover um, because it was kind of chaotic. Um, but like I said, I used the box dye from Schwarzkopf. This is the Schwarzkopf Palette range. And this is the color 12-1. Uh, and this is kind of a, a cool toned blonde. And this will lift your hair two to four tones, it says. But like I said, I will share my thoughts at the end of this video. So yeah, let's now get started with how I applied the highlight. I'm going to use this box dye. It is from Schwarzkopf from the Palette range. And this is a 12-1 and this is like a cooler uh, blonde kind of shade. And depending on your natural color, it will turn out uh, different, obviously. Then I have here my foils and my ball and some clips. And yeah, this is what I'm going to use. So the first thing I did is mix the hair dye. And as you can see, it's very blue. So I'm now sectioning off my hair and you want to make sure that the voil fits correctly um, otherwise it can cause some bleeding. So I'm sectioning off the front of my hair because I want to apply the highlights in the front and uh, just one at the back of my hair. And then I'm going to apply the highlights and I want them quite natural so I'm just waving out small parts of my hair and you don't have to do this really precisely because it gives a more natural look this way. And I'm holding down the foil so it won't uh, slide down and as you can see i'm struggling a bit because my hair is quite long and the foils are a little bit too short so keep that in mind that the foils are long enough for your hair make sure you don't apply the hair dye over the foil otherwise you will get lots of spots
I'm also leaving a little bit of hair in between the foils so um, they're not too close together for a more natural look. So I think I got in total around 15 foils, um, which is enough for like a natural look. So this is the end result and I'm so pleased with it. As you can see, it is like the exact same color of my hair and my roots were kind of dark. As you can see, this is like my natural color here in the back. Um, yeah, it lifted quite nice and this box dye didn't damage my hair, which I'm also really pleased with so i think you can definitely use a box dye like this if you are a natural blonde and um, because it will lift your hair and but not too much um so i think that is absolutely great however i think if you are darker than like let's say a seven or a six i think you definitely need to use bleach because this will not lift enough and it might get orange um, which you obviously don't want so I would recommend if you want to apply some highlights in your hair and you are darker then go for a bleach but please do your research because um, bleach can really damage your hair and then something that I want to mention that if you uh, use foils you can never come really close to the roots so as you can see I already have like a slight like regrowth I don't really mind that but keep that in mind if you apply if you apply highlights with foils that you already have like a little bit of a regrowth you obviously want to apply the foils as close as possible to your uh, skin but you never want to apply the dye uh, directly on the skin because it will cause some bleeding not actual bleeding but like the bleeding of the hair dye and then you get like spots all over your head and you don't want that so you make sure that it's like a little further away but yeah as you can see it is lightened very very nicely i'm just so happy with it and i'm definitely going to use this hair dye again let me know your thoughts i'm very very happy with it um and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it then please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye yeah.